What does it take to move an entire battlefield across oceans? What kind of aircraft can haul tanks, helicopters, and troops, not just to the front lines, but across continents, at a moment's notice? Meet the Lockheed C-5 Galaxy, the largest military aircraft in the United States Air Force. An aircraft so massive, so powerful, it doesn't just carry cargo, it carries the weight of global strategy on its wings. Let's talk numbers. The C-5 Galaxy can carry 350 troops or nearly 281,000 pounds of cargo. That's over 127 metric tons. To put that in perspective, that's two M1 Abrams main battle tanks or six AH-64 Apache helicopters, or five fully loaded Bradley fighting vehicles. And it can fit all of that inside a fuselage so wide, it allows for two rows of vehicles to be loaded side by side. That's not just big, that's colossal. But how did this beast come to life? The story of the galaxy began in the 1960s, a time when global air mobility became a priority. The Air Force needed something unprecedented, something that could move the impossible. And in 1968, the first C-5 Galaxy took flight. By 1970, it was officially in service. Designed by Lockheed, the Galaxy quickly became the backbone of America's strategic airlift capability. Bigger than Boeing's C-17 Globemaster III. Bigger than the Lockheed C-141 Starlifter. And dwarfing the European Airbus A-400M. But despite its size, the C-5 wasn't the biggest military transport in the world. That title belongs to the Antonov AN-124, built in the former Soviet Union. And until it was tragically destroyed during the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the AN-225 Maria held the crown as the largest aircraft ever built. Still, no aircraft in the U.S. inventory matches the C-5's sheer capacity. So how did the Air Force keep this aging giant relevant? Because the C-5 still had one secret weapon, longevity. By the late 1990s, engineers found that these aircraft had used only 20% of their service life. The bones were still strong. All they needed was a transformation. And that's when the C-5 became something even more formidable, the C-5M Super Galaxy. Let's break down what changed. First came the avionics modernization program launched in 1998. This phase upgraded the aircraft's internal systems, communications, navigation, surveillance, and air traffic management. A new autopilot system made the aircraft safer, more efficient, and more responsive. But the real game changer came in 2006. That's when Lockheed Martin began retrofitting the fleet with powerful new GE CF-680 C2 engines, branded for military use as the F-138 GE-100. These weren't just replacements, they were upgrades of a different league. With 22% more thrust, these engines gave the Super Galaxy the ability to take off from shorter runways, reducing the takeoff roll by 30% and boosting the climb rate by 58%. More cargo, greater range, faster liftoff, mission flexibility like never before. But let's talk endurance. The C5M can fly 2,150 nautical miles carrying its full cargo load without aerial refueling. After offloading, 
it can continue another 500 miles to a second location. And if refueling is available mid-air, then its operational range is virtually unlimited. The Super Galaxy cruises at 518 miles per hour, just slightly slower than a commercial airliner. But remember, it's carrying war machines, not passengers. And here's a detail logistics teams love. Both the nose and tail of the aircraft open. This allows for simultaneous front and rear loading, cutting down turnaround times dramatically and making loading operations more efficient. This isn't just about brute strength. This is about precision, design, and strategic foresight. Yet it hasn't all been smooth flying. The early days of the C5 were plagued by cost overruns and engineering issues, including wing cracks. Critics questioned the project, but Lockheed persisted, and the result was an aircraft that not only overcame its early flaws, but exceeded expectations for decades. Since entering service in 1969, the C-5 has supported every major U.S. military operation. Vietnam, the Persian Gulf, Iraq, Afghanistan, and humanitarian missions around the world. It even played a role in supporting NASA and the U.S. space program. As of 2018, the U.S. Air Force had 52 C-5s in operation, comprising the C-5B, C-5C, and the upgraded C-5M variants. They're based strategically across the U.S. at Dover Air Force Base in Delaware, Travis AFB in California, Lackland AFB in Texas, and Westover Air Reserve Base in Massachusetts. So what's next for this iconic aircraft? The upgrades under the Reliability Enhancement and Re-Engineering Program have already extended its service life well into the 2040s. And with ongoing innovations, the Galaxy may continue flying beyond that. In a world where rapid global deployment is critical, the C5M Super Galaxy doesn't just deliver cargo, it delivers readiness. It's not flashy. It doesn't need to be. While fighter jets chase the spotlight, the Super Galaxy quietly carries the burden of war and peace. So the next time you hear the distant thunder of jet engines overhead and look up to see a shadow blotting out the sky, you're not just witnessing flight. You're witnessing power, precision, and history all carried on the wings of a galaxy. Because in the realm of air dominance, some legends don't fade, they just fly farther.